Hello, beautiful butterflies. Welcome to the Tunisia Ali channel or the Butterfly Transformations channel or to my beloved Patreon membership channel at www.patreon.com slash Tunisia Ali. I wanted to show you all a recipe that I use for making a spiritual cleansing salt bath that helps not only to raise your vibration and imbue your energy field with high frequency elements and energies, but it also detoxifies the body. It helps to clean the um, toxins and residues and anything that is leaching or needs to come out through your skin barrier. And it also will guarantee that you raise your mood and soothe any feelings of anxiety or depression. So it's really going to act on you in a physical way and on an emotional, mental, and spiritual level. For those of you who like to do cleansing baths or you like to smudge and do cleansing sprays, it's really a wonderful way to bless your water with all sorts of elements that are high vibrational. Whether you are using things such as essential oils, because today I'm going to be using vanilla and lavender. I'm also going to use some Abyssinian oil excellent for skin and a whole host of other things. I'm going to be using some coconut powder. I'm going to also be using high, which I can't wait to use. I'm using the elements of two of my most favorite teas. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Some elderberry and some hibiscus, not only for the beautiful color that the dried fruits and pieces and elements of these amazing healing flowers bring, but also they have healing properties as well as beautiful colors to add. So it's just, just really wonderful. You don't need all of the things I have. You can really just come here with the most basic, which is going to be standard bag of Epsom salt. Two of these bags, which are five pound are much cheaper than buying a bag from Walmart or Kroger's that is the Mr. Teal's. You can use your own essential oils and it will be so much better and you will actually know what's in there and the proportions. So you're going to get two five pound bags if you have a Sam's membership or you can get this in stock. It's under $10 and it's so much better a deal than spending maybe one, let's see, maybe nine pound bag, not a nine pound bag, maybe a three and a half, four pound bag for like almost six or seven bucks. So anyway, you need that. And then you need some Himalayan pink salt. Now you can use a Himalayan pink salt. You can use sea salt. You can use kosher salt, whichever variety you want. I prefer Himalayan and the size of the crystals don't really matter. However, the bigger crystals are more beautiful, especially if you're going to be using some food grade color. All right. Now you can also, instead of using the food grade color, you can get yourself some some glycerin, which I use in some of my hair products and some of the other natural things that I concoct, and you can add mica to it. Fifi, you didn't bring the mica, did you? No, 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 don't worry about it. So you can get this. I got this from um, Ingalls, and I thought it was a little expensive compared to what it used to be before it became a thing this was like five something right but look what i found at my neighborhood shahi bazaar indian grocer i found this for 9.99 which is an excellent deal you just cannot beat that and then you're going to need a little bit of baking soda now the salts clear the negative energy they purge the epsom salt helps your body to balance its magnesium level so it helps with energy as well as relaxation the baking soda is a great detoxifier. Um, it's very healing and it also serves to soften the skin. So I have a couple of little canisters because these, what, what we get ready to make makes a wonderful gift and it's the easiest thing for you to put together. And these gifts um, can be placed in jars. You could put a label on it. You could print a label and use shipping tape to tape it across there. Put you a colored label, make it beautiful. You can put a ribbon around it. You can do all sorts of things to decorate the bottle. And these make wonderful, wonderful gifts. So we're just going to do one really quickly. Uh, I'm making a big one today for my bath. I have another one up there that is only lavender and a little bit of orange oil. So here's a bottle. It's a cookie dish 
that I got right from Walmart. I think it was like $3.50, okay? So what I'm going to do first is my ratio. Now, everybody's ratio is different. You can be creative with this. There is no set way to do this. Sophia, did you move my measuring cups? No. You left them over here. Oh, could you bring them? So first thing you'll see me do is put in, um, I use a one to two ratio of Epsom salt, two to one. I'm saying two to one because Epsom salt is the first thing that I put in and then I put in the Himalayan salt. So if, if it's a two to one ratio and I have, you know, four cups of um, Epsom salt, then I'm going to put in two cups of Himalayan sea salt. If I'm doing six cups, the same thing, then I'm going to put in three cups of the Himalayan, all right? This is the way I like to do it. Two, one part. It's a one part of the baking soda, okay? So you're going to see me put in six cups, roughly. One. Two. And you can do this. I just broke the edge of the thing. I think it's inside here. Nope, three. Oh, this is so worth it. Oh my gosh. And with our full moon coming up, how many was that? Five? I hope it was, y'all. If I lost count, it's not a big deal. I think this is the sixth one. We have a full moon tonight in Libra, so this is a perfect time to be doing this, to be clearing your energy, to be releasing. This is a way to get a purifying cleanse. On Patreon, shout outs to my Patreon members. You guys know our reading this morning suggested that we do a purifying cleanse and so that is what is the impetus the motivation for this all right so i'm just gonna make sure i get out all the little bumps and blocks and stuff okay and the next thing i want to do is i'm going to do three cups of the Himalayan sea salt okay now let's see one when i get to that last cup I want a little bit of color, okay? So what I'm gonna do, two, uh, three, that's more like two and a half, so I need just a tiny bit more. <laughs> Topping that off. And these are some cute little jars, y'all, that I got from Hobby Lobby when it was open many, many, many months ago. And uh, it's not open anymore. Okay, so what you're going to see me do is I have maybe a quarter of a cup, quarter, a little bit, maybe a third of a cup, and we want red, okay? So I'm taking this little red gel food color, and I'm going to squeeze it in here. Now, remember, I want really red, okay? So I'm going to squeeze more than I would if you were looking for pink, and this is just something that you're going to do over time. Sophia, do you see my fork? No. Can you bring me a fork? What happened to... Oh, I see it. Never mind. You see it? Yeah, y'all know how it is. You get on camera, it's trying to time to demo something, and all of a sudden you look like somebody who can't get that stuff together. So the gel, which I actually kind of prefer, you're going to use this. You know how you cut your Crisco or you cut your flour into your Crisco or your butter? That's kind of how you're going to do this until it fully combines and mixes. And what it's going to end up looking like is this okay you see these beautiful crystals so i'm just mixing this up and i'm going to add some lavender and some vanilla in just a bit oh, a little bit more food coloring this is the way the color is coming out it's looking more like those salt crystals so in a little bit more deep color i'm gonna add a little bit more but I love lavender. Lavender is very relaxing, it's antibacterial. So it's gonna clean the skin, it's also gonna detox. The vanilla is also very good for skin. It is a beauty agent that has been used throughout the, sensor, throughout the centuries. It is extracted a little bit different than the other essential oils, um, but it still has many benefits and the smell is just amazing. So the lavender and the Vanilla go really, really well together, okay? So this is the food coloring. Now keep in mind, 
I'm also going to add, and you don't need to use your hands for this. I'm trying to save time. This, because I'm only coloring about a third of a cup of the salt, I want to have more of an interspersed color throughout, okay? And I definitely want the elderberries in there because wherever they come out, when they hit the water, if you drink elderberry tea, you know it turns like a rich burgundy color. It's really beautiful. And then we have the hibiscus here, okay? Now, some people will wait until they get into the bath to add the hibiscus. Some people would keep it in cheesecloth or keep it in here. I want the hibiscus inside my bath, okay? I want the full benefit. I don't mind being in here with um, earth, mother earth. I don't mind that at all, okay? So that's fine. Now, also got a little bit more of um, sea salt here. I'm adding some Abyssinian oil. This is one of my favorite oils. It is in my proprietary anti-aging blend, which by the way, I hope to make available at a later date. But this oil is amazing, okay? It does all sorts of wonderful things for the skin. It's an antioxidant. It helps with cell renewal. It helps with wrinkling. Um, it fills in spaces. It helps with collagen. It's amazing. So I want to put some of that in here. And then I just want to add it to this. And coconut, you guys know why you use coconut oil. So putting some coconut powder. Now I usually will bake sweets with this or I'll put this in my Indian um, tomato and coconut spicy soup, which is delicious. That's why I have coconut powder around the house. But um, you can, and I'm not going to put this much in, but this is about a cup and a half. I'm going to sprinkle some of this in. It smells so good, you guys. And it's going to just give you a creamy feeling. And oh my gosh, like, can't you just see and feel how beautiful this is going to be? And if you want to add a little potpourri, quality potpourri, and you want to add some other ingredients that are going to, um, like flower essences, if you want to go and get um, some roses and place them in here, like let's say you were giving this as a gift to a friend and you wanted to put the rose petals on top or you wanted to line the sides and then put this in the center. Um, or you can dry them out yourself, or you can buy them already dried out. Or you can just wait until you get into the bath and put the actual essences in. It's even more beautiful because you end up having like, oh gosh, you just end up having so much more color. It's beautiful, you get a part of Mother Earth. Now here comes our essential oil. I'm gonna put in 15 drops. Trust me, you will be feeling this. You will be smelling this for days. Sabine, could you get me a knife, darling, please? You can see I did this just for you guys today. I'm not experienced with doing this stuff in line in front of folks. But I did want to make sure we got this in. Woo, I can smell that coconut. We can really add that um, vanilla. Oh yeah, butter knife would have been good, but this is fine. I prefer a butter knife, baby. I don't want to um, decompose my salt. So you mix this up, and technically you could do this in a bowl and then transfer it back, but that's going to be kind of a kind of difficult for me because I I didn't I don't have a funnel and I haven't really planned ahead. I'm going to put my vanilla in. Okay. That's Abyssinian oil, wait. Thank you, darling. If you smell this, oh my, I can't even tell y'all. Oh, mmm. It's not extract now, I'm not using extract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. y'all could smell this right now I could smell it from back here so the idea is to really mix this up well so really if you had a bowl 
And if I get the bowl, y'all, I'm going to make a big mess. But Sophia, grab me a bowl that's large enough, please, a glass bowl, one of those glass sal salad bowls over there. In the, is it the salad one that we use? That's not going to show enough. No, uh-uh. The big salad bowl. It's like several, two glass big ones over there. Guys, this, 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 I cannot even tell you. Oh. And then, once you mix up everything really, really, really well, if you want, that's just more of the dyed crystals. Um, if you really, really want, what you can do is you can, um, this is definitely the little house on the prairie way to do this. Or the Waltons. So, once you mix up everything well, y'all have no idea how good this smells. You can add you some more hibiscus on top to garnish it. Put your beautiful little red ribbon. All right, draw your little picture on there with a permanent marker. Give it as a gift. Gift it to yourself. I'm doing a yellow one for Sophia tonight. I think she might want the citrus. You can also clump it so that you don't mix all of your deeper colors that within. So like I could have actually, when I was doing this, I could have easily waited until the top to garnish it with some more food color. I can't tell y'all how good this smells. And halfway through, I'm going to add a little bit. Why one part of my baking soda. Remember, this is going to help to soften the skin, you guys. Technically, you should put this in a little earlier, okay? But this is all about you. If you want a little more of a layer, you can put it in at this point. Because once you mix up everything, you might just give it a nice little shake. This is what's going to make the skin feel good, in addition to any additional oils, like jojoba or something like that. Gosh, this smells good. As much as I love vanilla, I do notice that it does something for my stomach when I smell too much of it. And these essential oils are really potent. How wonderful this is. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. So now what I'm going to do is just top this off. Okay. See that? I'm just going to top it off. Okay. And I will put a little bit more elderberry on top, y'all. Put my little top on. And it is ready to go and trust me with vanilla with lavender with hibiscus and elderberry sea salt baking soda and epsom salt and don't forget coconut powder ah, i need technical support it smells so good y'all oh my gosh i'm gonna enjoy this bath tonight as i release 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 with the Libra moon. Release, release, release with the Libra moon. I hope that you guys will make this. I hope that you will be creative. You can add ginger. You can add turmeric. I will be careful about adding things that normally irritate your skin. Citrusy oils you have to be careful with. If you decide to put in any essential oils, please dilute them in a carrier oil. Do not put them in the water neat. Water and those oils do not combine. Or put them in here the way you saw me do it, okay? You can add anything you want. Like I said, bring in the flower essences. Invite the elementals. Have a ball. I love you guys, and I hope that you have a wonderful, beautiful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye.